So DJ Academics put the battery in Hassan Campbell's back. And Hassan Campbell decided to use the biggest moment of his YouTube career to flat out lie. He was just telling flat out lies, yo. But then on top of that, it hit me. This man has waged war on the black community and he's been doing this for a while and it just hit me. But what's up with y'all? What's up with y'all? Welcome back to Moxie Approved. What's up with y'all Moxie Mob? You already know what to do. Hit that like button. Make sure you got the notification bell turned up all the way to all because you know I've been spitting these videos out pretty fast lately. And make sure you share this video because we got to get this message out, man, and get these chameleons out of our community. Also, if you're new to the page and you haven't done this yet, I need you to do me one small favor and apply pressure to that subscribe button. Yes, apply pressure to that subscribe button. But what we talking about? What we talking about? So DJ Academics, he's a, uh, those of you don't know him, he's a legend on these YouTube streets. No one can take that away from him. Two million YouTube subs. He's been putting in work for a while. Um, he has a podcast off the record and he had Hassan Campbell as a guest. Now, me, I watch DJ Academics page. He, he can keep you uh, up in tune. He can keep you up to date on hip hop and stuff like that. So I watch this page from time to time and it kind of surprised me, man. Because one thing that I know about him, I've heard him talk about before is validity in journalism. And I mean, <laughs> he just put the battery in Hassan Campbell back and it's like these lies, these are known lies that you can easily see that they're lies, you know? So that is what it is. I'm not no hater. The man got the podcast going. I know, you know, with that, you want to have that shock value on there. So I get, I get it. The one thing that did surprise me though, is when you go on Spotify and you find this, this podcast and you press play, literally, literally one of the first few words that you hear on there is Kwame Brown. Yeah, now Kwame, he was trying to get at you some type of way. And you know what? I don't think that that's by accident, but we all know that game. We all know that game. Uh, say Kwame Brown's name. Hopefully Kwame Brown come back. And oh, now you got something going. I don't know. I don't think that that was an accident to me. But Hassan Campbell going on there, and this man is just flat out lying. One of the biggest lies that he said on there is pretty much that he was minding his business. Minding his business, and out of nowhere, Kwame started mentioning his name. Kwame was a fan. Yeah, you, well, well, well listen, with well, Kwame, right, people felt like, you know, Kwame, he got in your ass, which he did, because I let him. Because you got to understand something. First and foremost, I didn't realize that Kwame was a fan of me. Mm, yeah, yeah, he knew, he knew some shit about you. He, he was a fan already of me and shouted me out, so. Now, y'all know that was one of my vi biggest videos on this page was about that situation. And I'm here to tell you, I can even play the clips for you, all right? Hassan Campbell said it himself. This is how you know this dude is dysfunctional and he's a liar. He said it himself out of his own mouth. Kwame Brown was not bothering him. The reason why he said what he said about Kwame and picked that beef with him is because of the algorithm. I will say that I caught one statement that he made that was a silver lining and I think he exposed a lot about himself but he was being honest. He finally talked about why he brought up Kwame Brown's name in the first place. When y'all sit up there talking about Hassan Campbell Lewis, when I mentioned Kwame's name, I knew what I was doing. YouTube have this thing where they try to put a cap on your views. They put a cap on your views and they start lowering your views because they start shadow banning you. When I said Kwame's name, I was fighting for my life on YouTube because I knew YouTube was getting dirty. And every time YouTube get dirty on me, I do some shit with shock value because I know motherfuckers is stupid. And y'all love shock value. So I said Kwame's name and he came at me. For view. The man is so much of a liar that he probably forgot that he even said that. So this man goes on, uh, you know, once again, doing all kind of stupid stuff, just really uh, spitting some hateful stuff, stuff that harms the image of the black community. It truly does. Calling us dysfunctional. I am dysfunctional, but guess what? 95% of the black community is dysfunctional. I like how you... you nah, man, we not, 95% of us are not dysfunctional. Maybe those are niggas that you've been around that's been dysfunctional. 
Maybe it's that. This is the message that I want to get with this video, all right? I've told y'all this before, and I'm going to keep repeating this, okay? Hassan Campbell, a lot of y'all think he's a light-skinned African-American male. He is not. He is not FBA, foundational black American. What he is, is a Puerto Rican Dominican, all right? He is Afro-Latino, okay? I know some of y'all in the comment section are saying, no, 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 oh, are we black? Look, I know, first of all, Puerto Ricans, there's some Puerto Ricans out there that are darker than me, but they consider themselves white. Dominicans, same thing. Both of these groups have African lineage in them, but both of these groups say hateful, harmful things to, to our community. Y'all ain't never heard me say anything bad about the Latin community on my page. But uh, I know for a fact that Dominicans, they have names for us. So Moyo or Mayate or something like that. They have names for us, all right? So what Hassan Campbell, what has happened to him, all right? He has been around some wolves from our community that violated this guy at a young age. And at some point, he came around to on, in his mind and said, I hate these niggas. I hate these niggas. You can't watch two or three Hassan Campbell videos and not hear the bitterness and hatred towards the black community. Bitterness, and when he talks about other communities, he talks so sweet about Latins. He calls the, the Latin community, those are our brothers and sisters. I know they are my brothers and sisters, but you Afro-Latino, dude, you trying to take yourself out of that and you can't take away, you can't remake who you are. What you are is you're transracial. You're transracial. You want to be identified as black. And I, I know some of y'all saying, well, okay, Moxie, if, if, if he hate the black community, why does he want to be identified as black? He wants to be identified as black because this fool be in New York at times. And if everybody knew that this guy was Afro-Latino, which he is, spewing all this hate at the black community, he would have to watch himself on every block in New York. He wouldn't know which Negro will go and try to split his head wide open and make him give up the ghost. He wouldn't have no idea. That's why he's trying to position himself as a wolf in sheep's clothing. But it's not even, you talk about wolf in sheep's clothing, he even got the whole sheep costume down. Because when you really look at this man, you can really see his Latin features. It's clear. It's clear to see his Latin features. I already told you about the hair of the colonizer and all that. So just get, when you listening to Hassan Campbell, the man got a lot of followers, and that is what it is. When you listening to this fool, you listening to a fairy tale. A fairy tale from a man that was violated out of his own mouth. He said that he was violated when he was younger by African Bombada, all right? And he got bitterness toward us because of it. I understand, man. Hurt people hurt people. So I get it, man. But we done tried to help you, dude. Star, he tried to push you to, um, um, do some things with African Gambada legally. You said you didn't want to do it, all right? But it's another thing that I noticed. You don't didn't want to do nothing to African Bambada, right? But you want to use your victimhood for views. On the same podcast, you pretty much went on there after everybody tried to push you to do legal stuff against African Bambada. I believe it was like to August he had or something like that last year. People tried to push you to do some legal stuff with him, and you didn't want to do it. And it, hit, it, 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 it was made clear to me why it was like that. You don't want to do it that way. You rather use your victimhood for views, all right? Because he said this on the same podcast. Mm. Africa Bambada is the one that did the bid with me. So he was locked up for murder too? No, he wasn't locked up, but he should have been locked up. He was my my getaway driver. Yep, I'm telling. He's a per he's a pervert. It is what it is. He was him and I met I met, I met his, his his manager, the dude that lived and slept in the room next door to him was actually my getaway drivers. They never got picked up because I never told on them. Now that is flat out snitching. We already know that's what the dude does. All right. We already know that's what the dude does. And it's like, I don't want no part. I don't know nothing about that African Barbada situation. I'm just taking the words from his mouth. All right. That's what he said. And if he didn't want to handle it that way, he'd rather get views and, and snitch on, on, on camera about this. And I'm, I'm going to say one last thing about this situation. I can't quite figure it out. But I don't think Hassan Campbell's independent. You know, people deflect. People like to deflect. And one of the things he always says is, who sent you? And well, I want to know, Hassan Campbell, you already said yourself for the industry, you got to kill somebody or and do some stuff with, with another man. That's what you said, all right? You done did both of them. So I want to know, who sent you, man? I don't think Hassan Campbell is independent. He has some kind of machine behind him. And I don't know, but 
We got to find out who's behind this guy and who sent him. He might be a federal agent because all this stuff that this man has do, all this stuff that this man has talked, he's talked all kinds of stuff about grieving black mothers, calling them bitches and all kinds of stuff. All right. Saying uh, don't know no one's background, but when they die, uh, oh, they deserve to go to hell or they ain't hell. Just judging people like he's some kind of angel. All right. This dude is a demon and he's a wolf in sheep's clothing. When I look in this guy's eyes and his videos, I don't see no righteousness in there at all. And he's not one of us. He's an African Latino. And I know you're probably watching this, Hassan. Like, why does this dude keep making videos? When he going to stop making videos? I'm going to stop making videos when you go out there and tell people that you Afro-Latino and you stop talking about my community. Because you're bitter against us, dogs. And we tried to help you. You ain't want to help. You'd rather be a victim for views. Well, anyways, y'all know how we like to end our videos over here at Moxie Approved, right? With that water. I see y'all here next time on Moxie Approved. He's a false prophet, and we in the last days. You're going to see a lot of more of those false prophets out there. I see y'all here next time.